<laughs> hey, we're back. This is Alina and Adam, and we are um, going through stability, how to do it step by step. And this is uh, where a claim has been created. That claim has been created, and now we are going to add the claim and information. Alina? Yes. <laughs> okay, so uh, you just want to enter a claim number here and uh, just get this all filled out. Uh, your type of loss, we're going to go ahead and go with storm damage here. Uh, today's date, um, it's a lot more simple usually to use this calendar to fill out your date fields. Uh, a little bit more quickly and, and simple there. Um, let's just put in time. Oh, let's, I can click on the clock even to uh, fill out the time here. So let's go with 10 a.m. Um, deductible um, is interesting because you can use a preset deductible for regular homeowner claim or you could enter a custom deductible here. I'm just going to go with $500 um, and uh, year built. We'll just throw something in there. Cat number. It would be our storm number there. Um, and I'm just going to fill out my name as the named insured. There we go. And uh, fill out my address here. And I want to draw your attention to uh, this next part. The city here is very important to enter before the zip code. The way Symbility works is it, they're going to pull out uh, the correct price list based on the city uh, pertaining to your zip code. So here, I live in Salt Lake City right now. Uh, my actual city would be uh, Murray. Um, it is the same zip code as Salt Lake, but it's a different, uh, say, a suburb, if you will. So I do live in Salt Lake City proper, but uh, Murray is my designation, and the zip code would pull in the correct price list for this area. So that's uh, just a word, a little tip there, uh, that the city is very important to enter that first, and then, of course, your state and the zip code last. All right, and just get my phone there and uh, email, and that would uh, complete the filling out of the claim information. Great. Okay.